Hi, here are 40 quick tips to become more productive with Tower for Mac. To quickly open any repository, press Shift-Command-O to launch Tower's Quick Open window. While the input field is empty, the repositories will be sorted by the date they were last opened. You can then start typing to locate the project you would like to work on. If you want to open the repository in a new window, hit Option Enter. Quick Open lists every repository available in your home directory, not just the ones you've already opened in the past. You can visit the Advanced tab in the Preferences window to change this. You can also determine which folders Tower should ignore. Inside the project, you can easily jump to a different view by pressing Command and the number of the sidebar item. Command 6 will show the reflog view even if you have Show reflog in sidebar disabled in the Preferences. Command O will take you to the head branch. Command Ctrl S and Command Ctrl R will toggle between services and repositories. Quick Actions is Tower's own version of the command palette. Inside the project, press Command Shift A to launch it. As you start typing, a list of contextual actions will be displayed. With Quick Actions, you can search for a file, check out branches or tags, switch between themes, and set a different committer identity. Let's use Quick Actions to access the history of a file. Press the spacebar to stage the currently selected file. If you prefer to use the spacebar to quick look the file, visit the Preferences window and choose the Quick Look option. To stage all current changes, press Command Shift T. Command Shift Option E will perform the opposite. Command Shift Backspace will discard any local changes to the selected file. Hit Command Shift C to quickly activate the Commit dialog. This shortcut works from all views, which comes in very handy. To write better commit messages, you can type backslash to insert a file name, C colon to reference a commit, or the number sign to address an issue. If you have a services account configured in Tower, you can also use keywords such as closes, fixes, or results. If the last tip sounded like too much, simply enter forward slash in the commit subject field and a list of relevant commands will appear. To jump to the body field, hit enter. When you're ready to add this commit to the commit history, press command enter. By the way, you can quickly amend the previous commit by pressing option. The commit button will transform into amend and the last commit message will automatically fill the message text field. Many complex git commands can easily be performed in Tower with a simple drag and drop gesture. For example, you can drag and drop a commit item onto the tags or branches sections in the sidebar to create a new branch or tag based on that commit. You can also drag a branch and drop it onto the branches section to create a new branch based on the drag one. If you drag and drop a branch onto another branch, optionally holding down command or option, you'll be able to pull, push, merge or track a branch. You can cherry pick a commit by dragging it from the history view to the working copy item in the sidebar or directly to the hand branch. In the history view, simply drag and drop a commit to move it around. To squash multiple commits into a single one, simple click and drag one commit to another. You'll see a plus symbol. Squashing preserves and combines all commit messages, but if you want to keep the original message, you can hold the option key to fix up commits instead. You can also start your commit message with squash or fix up and pick an existing commit. After making that commit, switch to your head branch's history and you'll find the button at the top to conclude the process. Tower allows you to specify the exact chunks and even lines you want to commit, which can be very helpful if you're a fan of small, granular commits. All you have to do is click on the lines or chunks you would like to add to the next commit. You can then review what is staged or unstaged before making it official. In Tower, you can undo most actions by pressing a familiar keyboard combination, Command Z. Try undoing any undesired action, such as a commit, a merge, or a discard chunk with that keystroke. You can also redo the action by pressing Shift Command Z. 
if you want to modify a file locally without committing those changes to the repository, set a sum unchanged is your friend. Simply right-click the file and click on Mark Set a sum unchanged. If you ever feel the need to change this setting, you can configure Tower to show a sum unchanged items. By default, Tower shows you just the modified files in a list view, but you can examine all your project files by selecting View as Tree and Show Non-Modified Items. You can combine the previous tip with this one to quickly inspect how a file evolved over time or restore a previous version. Right-click any file and select Show File History to view all the commits that affected that file. You can bring any revision back to your working copy by clicking on Restore File at Revision. Please note that this will overwrite any other current local changes in those files. If you prefer, you can also click on Export File at Revision to download a zip package with that version of the file. Stashing is an important action whenever you need to save your uncommitted changes and leave your working copy in a clean state. You can press Command Shift S to stash your work. Command Shift Option S will then apply it. Alternatively, you can stash a single file by right clicking on it in the working copy view. If you attempt to switch branches with a dirty repository, Tower will ask you if you would like to stash your files. If you want to bring your changes to the new branch, tick the Reapply Changes after Operation is Finished box. It will automatically stash the changes, switch branch, and pop those changes similar to the git switch command. By holding down the option key, you can skip the dialogues and perform a quick fetch, a quick pull, a quick push, a quick merge or a quick rebase with the default values. Right-click any branch and select the pin branch option to add them to the pinned branches section. To quickly access any branch, you could type its name using quick actions or by pressing command shift B but you can also filter branches by typing the name in the input field located at the bottom of a sidebar. This also works for tags and submodules. Force Push with Lees allows you to force push in Tower without risking to override someone else's work unintentionally. This is actually the default option in Tower. If you use this command often, you may want to consider dragging the toolbar icon to the customizable toolbar. Rebase onto allows you to switch the base for a series of commits and comes in handy if you work extensively with feature branches. You can perform this action by clicking on Working Copy and then Rebase onto, by right-clicking the head branch or by pressing Ctrl Shift Command R. You can set a different color scheme or come up with your own in the Themes tab in the Preferences window. Visit the General tab in the Preferences window to define which should be the default directory for cloned repositories. Tower provides seamless GPG support, and it can automatically sign new commits for you. You can set this globally or just for certain Git repositories. You can create several user profiles in Tower's User Profiles tab inside the Preferences window. You can also assign different GPG keys for each profile. Tower has an integrated image diffing feature that supports all the most popular file formats PNG, JPEG, GIF, BMP, TIFF, JPEG 2000, and Apple's high efficiency image file format. You can compare the two images and their file sizes side by side. Our search functionality lets you filter commits by offer, date, message, commit hash, or file. The best part is that you can combine these search filters. Useful if you're looking for the commits from someone during a specific time period. While viewing a branch's history, click on the compare icon to compare that branch against a different local branch. You'll have access to the exclusive commits and the number of commits the branch is behind. If a merge would lead to merge conflicts, a warning will also be displayed. In our branches review view, you can filter by fully merged to pinpoint the branches that can be removed without hesitation. We hope you enjoyed this set of tips. If you're not a Tower user yet, you can download a free 30-day trial to try it out for yourself. For more info, visit gittower.com. Thanks for watching.